Men are expected to be tough and strong and keep it together and walk upright and never show weakness, never show emotions. And oftentimes, because the world has said that this is how it should be, we as wives can mistake that exterior front for how they are internally when in actuality internally they could be suffering severely so it's important for a wife to understand what the soul of her husband needs i am ladidra maris i'm your host for today and we will be discussing the soul of your husband and how he needs your friendship and compassion what is the condition of your husband's soul? Do you know? Do you care? How can you find out? These are all questions that need answers. You are with your husband for all areas of his life. Not just what he can do for you. Not just what you can do for him sexually not just what you can do for him physically, but what you bring to him emotionally and spiritually. How do you influence the soul of your husband? Or do you pay attention to the soul of him? Do you expect him to be strong and have answers at all times? Do you expect him never to display moments of weakness as a kingdom wife it is our responsibility for we were created for him for the husband it is our responsibility to be in tune with him maybe you're saying i have a husband who does not talk to me so i don't know what's going on with him when you're a kingdom wife, you may have a husband that may not talk to you, but you have a God who speaks to you at all times, who knows the condition of you and your spouse, who knows what you're capable of and your spouse. When you are married in an equally yoked marriage, your greatest, the most important person, the greatest gift that you possess is the Holy Spirit who can give you insight on everything that's going on with your husband. And not only that, but he will show you the non-verbal ways that your husband is communicating to you. Your husband may walk in and never say anything, but what is the expression that's on his face? How is he walking? How are his fingers? How is he responding to the children? How is he responding to you when he talks? He has responses. He's always showing you the condition of his soul, but are you always watching? Or are we so in tune or engulfed with self the way the world wants us to be that we're missing the moments to be able to influence the soul of him? Or are we so bent over and broken that we can't look past our own brokenness to see the brokenness in our spouse. And thus we want him to fix what he can't even fix within himself. When we dive into the soul of your husband and understanding the condition of your husband, you'll understand that your soul source is God. And Many try to make wives believe that you need to set aside your pain, your feelings, all of that, and fix your husband. That is inaccurate. That is not the plan of God. God says, come unto me, all who are heavy laden and burdened. He said, I will give you rest. So anything that you have going on within yourself that your husband may not be able to help you through, you go unto God and you ask God to help heal you. So then you can turn around and then be healing for someone else. And I'm talking about a love that heals, a love that sees, 
a love that says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I will love you until the condition of your soul is whole. This is the perception. This is the mindset. This is the heart of a kingdom wife. Seeing the soul of your husband means I see no title. I see no role. I see no talent. I see no finances. I see nothing that the world says about you. I only see your soul. I see you how God sees you. Oftentimes, we will naturally avoid anything uncomfortable, unfamiliar, or any awkward situations just because we can't easily see it. But when you are in tune with your spouse, you will not avoid these things that are coming up out of your spouse. And you won't just shrug your shoulders and say, that's just the way they are. I guarantee you, God did not create them to have a mentality of that's just the way they are. Nor did he bring you into their life to say, that's just the way they are. I guarantee you that there's a wound in their soul that has them so bent that they're now operating out of the wound instead of operating out of healing. And if we can chime in on what's really happening in the soul of our spouses, then we can help bring healing to a home and then bring healing to a community and then bring healing to a nation. It all goes back to the home. When we are taught as a kingdom wife that we are the heart of the home, we automatically assume that we have to walk around and be nice and walk on eggshells and make sure that everything is okay without going unto God. That's not a kingdom wife. That's simply a wife who has not been taught the correct way of doing things. When you are a kingdom wife and you are the heart of the home, you are life. God says in his word, Jesus says, I give life and I give it more abundantly. And so when you're the kingdom wife, you go unto God because you are looking to your source to give you something that you can now give to your husband, that you can now give to your children. It's expected of you because you were created to do this. Never let anybody tell you that you were not created to restore. And when you can remember who you are, why you were created, study the image of God, the attributes of God, because he said you were made in his image and after his likeness, remember who you are because it's who you are that will show up in your husband's life. First Samuel 18, one and three says, when David had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was bonded. Some versions say knit together to the soul of David and Jonathan loved him as himself do you love your husband's soul as you love your own do you look in his soul as you look in your own and if you if you are not in tune with what's going on in your own soul then yes you're not going to pay attention to what's going on in your husband's you're going to be so consumed with your own pain and misfortune and and conduct and weaknesses that you're going to miss the moments that you can influence a soul and bring that soul to Christ. The Bible records that Jonathan and David's soul were knit together. This was a strong emotional attachment and loyalty. So then the homework for today is to find out if you are emotionally attached to your husband or are you emotionally detached from him. And if you are, that's a wedge in your marriage where you cannot help the soul of your spouse. Your soul now needs assistance and you need to ask God to reveal to you why you are emotionally detached and then ask God to reveal to you the soul of your spouse and the wounds of him so that you can begin to see your spouse as God sees you. Because when your eyes change, so will your conduct. 
Meditate on 1 Corinthians 11, 7 through 9, so you can understand your role in your husband. I'm Ladidra Maris of Kingdom Maris Marriage Ministries. Thank you.